In Bradley Cooper's new movie, Limitless, he takes a pill that gives him the power to explore 100% of his own mind. The Ryan's own Cecily Fournier experienced with the powerful drug, and these are the results. Are you always studying? Are you constantly stressing? Do you wish you had more of a social life? Well, there's a pill for that. Limitless. Limitless makes you feel like Charlie Sheen. So go ahead, jump on that couch. Who cares about working? Definitely not me. Not me. Feel like dancing? Then do it. Go ahead, run up and down the stairs. I bet you won't feel tired. Limitless helps take your dull, old, stressful life to new limits. Feel like jumping? Then do it. Limitless is not responsible for any type of bodily harm that may occur after taking it. You're responsible for your own stupid actions when taking this drug. Not approved for anyone currently taking meds, anyone who may look up to Charlie Sheen, or anyone that could potentially be crazy. Limitless. The Unlimited. Let's hope Cooper's character doesn't end up like that poor soul. For more movie news, let's kick it over to movie mogul Matt McCain. He'll tell you who's the slowest tortoises and the fastest sea turtles were at the box office. Sorry, no hairs this week. Hello, Ramoneers. It's me, Mighty Mitt McCain, here with your movie news. It's been a while since I've seen y'all, but I survived Mardi Gras, and I'm back. Having said that, I think it's a good time to get into our top five turtles at the box office. Everyone loves turtles, especially little zombies. Face paint job, what do you think? I like turtles. All right, you're a great zombie. Anyway, here we go. Number one this week was Battle Los Angeles, starring Aaron Eckhart and Michelle Rodriguez. Even though this movie is set in L.A., it was actually filmed right here in Baton Rouge. And we all know how similar the Red Stick and Los Angeles are, besides the fact that we're not all gay. Numero dos went to Johnny Depp's lizard personality, Rango. Yep, he's been a pirate, a cocaine smuggler, a barber that kills people, and now he's a lizard. Depp aspires to be a drop of four loco in his next life. Finishing in third is Red Riding Hood. I'm not really sure how you turn a five-minute folktale into an entire movie, but I've heard crazier things like Tiger Woods giving up white girls. Coming in at number four is the Adjustment Bureau. Matt Damon fights some people that are trying to control his life. I'm sorry, but I have just never enjoyed a Matt Damon movie. movie. They're all just a two-hour nap for me. And rounding out the top cinco is future Disney classic Mars Needs Moms. I'm kidding, of course, when I say it's a future classic. It only grows six million, which doesn't exactly make it the next Lion King. In other movie news, Beautiful actress Jessica Biel, an actor, singer, comedian, whatever he is, Justin Timberlake, ended their romantic relationship. Rumor has it Jessica broke it off when her anniversary present from Justin was his Richard in a box. Take a look inside, is my in a box. That Timberlake sure knows how to impress the ladies, and guys too if you count Lance Bass. Another rumor floating says Mila Kunis has caused the breakup. Miss Steal Your Boy, even from Sarah Marshall. Now let's get to this week's cornucopia of releases. Limitless stars Bradley Cooper as a less than fortunate, fortunate journalist who takes a pill that allows him to access 100% of his mind and become a huge success. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we have got to get this pill in the hands of JC. He'll drop that lame gig at Chuck E. Cheese and be performing at the Apollo in no time. Make you say yeah, yeah! The Lincoln Lawyer also comes out Friday, but it stars Matthew McConaughey, so we're just going to skip it. Now on to the movie I'm looking forward to seeing the most this weekend. Yes, the wait is over. Paul is here. Seth Rogen, my favorite Jew besides my girlfriend's dad, is the voice of the coolest alien ever to land on this planet. Also, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, you know the guys from Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, star in this movie, which pretty much guarantees a laugh fest. Well, that's all I have for y'all today. Stay tuned for more of The Ramen, the soup for college students. My boy, Lambert the Hammer, is up next with music. 